Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is the four-time Grammy Award-winning singer and songwriter with hits including Somebody Like You, Stupid Boy, and Blue Ain't Your Color. Please welcome to The Late Show, Keith Urban. Be too careful yeah, these days. Safe, so, you know. too safe. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Nice to have you on. Nice to be on. Thank you. I mean, it's. I'm not breaking any news here, and everybody knows you are one of America's, one of the world's biggest country music stars. But maybe not everybody knows that you grew up in Australia and were born in New Zealand. That's right. Down there in God's country. Well. Well, was. <laughs> Country music big growing up down there? Because when, you know, I'm a little bit older than you are, but in America, even if you didn't grow up in the South, you weren't exposed to that much country music. Where did you learn it? My parents' record, record collection, my dad's particularly, loved American country music, and so I just grew up with all those kind of records playing in the house. Mel Haggard, Charlie Pride, jo Johnny Cash, all that sort of stuff. So that's how I heard about oh, it originally. That was, that, was nice. that, was, yeah. that, that was nice. Yeah. Did your folks take you to concerts and everything? Do you remember the first... Yeah, the show yeah. You went to? yeah the, actually, the first one he took us to was Johnny Cash when I was five years old. Yeah. Wow. When I was, I am uh, jealous. I never got to see Cash live. Those are cool parents taking you to see Johnny Cash. Crazy, I think, really, because you know uh, that kind of crowd when you're five years old, it's insane. I mean, they were they were hammered beyond hammered. The whole audience, right? <laughs> What Inclu kind of venue was it? Was it like my a bar? Dad. Where was it? It was at this place called Festival Hall in Brisbane. Yeah. And it's an old boxing. Venue, so it holds about 5,000. Perfect place, right? So about 5,000 people. Beer gravy, <laughs> yeah, on the floor ready and stuff to go. Like that. Um, and it, it was just rowdy. But when you're five, it was like you know, it was like a stadium to me. And this crowd was so noisy and intense and rowdy. And I was sitting there, my brother, who's two years older than me, we got our little Western shirts on, our little bolo ties, and the whole thing, yeah, right, and the whole thing, and. I just remember this roar of this crowd like I'd never heard before, and then the lights went out and it got even louder. And then I just remember this guy walking out on stage with a guitar and a spotlight, and then he talked, and then the whole crowd just went to it, this quiet hush, and I'm just like, what is going on up there? All in black, I'm guessing. It was, yeah, it was amazing. Did you ever get a chance to tell him what that meant to you? Did you, did you ever I get never a chance to I never met Johnny, no, I wished I had of. Wow. I'd love to have told him that. Um, well, you, you are a dad yourself. Uh, you yeah. with your lovely wife, uh, Nicole Kidman. Here's a picture of the two of you at Dollywood, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. is. <laughs> Thank you. This is your Instagram for Valentine's Day. Right. Your daughters are 11 and 9. Yeah. Do, you, do you take them to concerts? What's the first concert you took them to? Did, uh, can you beat Johnny Cash? You can't beat Johnny Cash. Um, they, we took them to see, you know, the kids' bop. Thing that tours around. So. That's <laughs> a more age appropriate. Yeah, they were, I know, they were yeah. like five and three or something, and yes. so they're like slightly so you, different crowd. We, a little bit, yeah, a little bit more sober. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Some of the dads. Did you actually? Were you, did you send them in, or did you go in? With we them? we all went in, all four of us. It was at the Ryman Auditorium, and oh, uh, we we're, were in the balcony, yeah. and the kids bop band comes out, and they're rocking out all the cover songs, and <laughs> and. Uh, at one point, I looked over and our two girls are leaning over the balcony like this, just going crazy. <laughs> it was head-banging to just, it was awesome. Well, I want to ask you one other <laughs> thing about, about Dollywood here in, in old, uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Yes. Um, how long have you been a Dolly fan? Because I've been a oh. Dolly fan since I was a kid. I used to watch her on the Porter Wagner show when I was a kid growing up. Uh, right, well, um, I probably heard of her when I was seven, eight years old, mm -hmm. nine years old. Did a few of her songs? Uh, I know you did, because we found this tape of you <laughs> at, I don't know what show this is on, but you're, you're 10 years old. Oh, uh, no. Doing Dolly on TV, <laughs> Tim. Well, I'd go down to Apple Jacks just almost every day. Oh, we'd sit and we'd drink Apple Jacks at Old Apple Jacks. You got it. You got that Dolly tremolo there. 
I'm prepubescent there, so like my voice hasn't even broken yet, so I could sing in her key. It's right. It's yeah, so yeah. Now, clearly you've been performing since since you were quite young. Right. How old were you when you first started playing? Uh, six when I started playing guitar. Okay. And a lot a lot of kids have imaginary friends, but uh, I understand that you had an imaginary band. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you do. Um, well, it was, well, what it was is my mom and dad used to take us to see this band called Country Fever every Sunday afternoon at this football club. And they were just a cover band. They played all Top 40 stuff. But I thought they were awesome. And I thought, man, I wish I had a band. And so I built this little stage. We had a garage separate to the house. Mm -hmm. And I built a little stage on the outside of the garage with the back wall, with the wall of the garage, the outside of the wall of the garage as a sort of backdrop to my stage. Sure, and like, of course, you know, yeah. Invite people to the lawn and I'll put on a concert and I'm like, I need a band name, you know? So Country Fever was taken, so sure. I thought, well, I'll call myself Rock Fever. <laughs> and I said to my dad, can I spray paint Rock Fever on the side of the garage? He's like, no, you know? <laughs> and so I went, oh, obviously, no, sorry. So he went to work, so I got the spray can out and I sprayed Rock Fever <laughs> On the side of the garage. Wow, because that's rock and roll. I wasn't thinking it through at all. And, yeah. um, of course, he came home after work, and it just all, all hell broke loose, and it's like, there's this big rock fever on the side of the thing. So, um, so I got punished for that, of course. What was the punishment? Um, so they took me into my room. It was a big, big deal. Mum and Dad take me into the room. They're like, oh, we've had a good think about this, and, you know, we think your punishment is going to be we're going to take your guitar away from you for, for two weeks. Well, I, I didn't think that. Inside, I was like, that's it? Like, that's... <laughs> well, it's a pretty high crime, you sure, know what I mean? Sure. And, uh, you were told not to do it, and you did it anyway. That's a mortal sin. Yeah, plus it's not going to come off the garage wall easily, right? And so, I, I, it's, so in, I, on the outside, it's like, oh, please, no. And inside, I'm like, oh, I just got to go. It's fantastic. <laughs> and so several days after that, I was like, man, I'd love to play my guitar. And I said to my mom, could I just grab out of the closet and play a couple of, just, she's like, no, two weeks. I'm like, okay. So 10 days later, I'm like, mom, can I just, and I was like going crazy, and she went, no, two weeks. Uh, and it, it turned out to be the best punishment, because by the end, towards the end of that, I actually, I was 10 years old, I got on a bus and went into the city and went into a guitar store and got a guitar just so I could play. <laughs> and when I got that guitar back, I never let it go. So it was the best punishment, really. Wow. Yeah. So. Mm. Take away something your child loves, and they'll desire it more. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Now you've got you've got a, a, a new single uh, coming out uh, ahead of the new album. Yeah. Uh, what what yeah. are you going to play for us tonight? Yeah, we've got a couple things coming out. Uh, tonight we're going to play a song called "God Whispered Your Name." So it's brand new. God whispered your name. Mm. All right. We're yeah. looking forward to it. Thanks yeah. so much for being Thanks, here. Thanks, Stephen. Nice. Keith, stick around for a performance by Keith Urban. We'll be right back with Casey Wilson. Stick around.